Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calumso, Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on the seventh day of our spiritual preparation for the coming of our new Archbishop, we celebrate today the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. Today, we also offer this Mass in thanksgiving to the Lord for the gift of life of Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle as he celebrates his birthday today. And we also offer this Mass for Cardinal Jaime Sin as we remember his death anniversary today. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us be sorry for our sins and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife, Sarai, his brother's son, Lot, all the possessions that they had accumulated and the persons they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land as far as the sacred place at Shechem, by the terebinth of More. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So Abraham built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country east of Bethel, pitching his tent with Bethel to the west and I to the east. He built an altar there to the Lord and invoked the Lord by name. Then Abraham journeyed on by the stages to the Negev. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen for His own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear Him, upon those who hope for this kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of fame, famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging, and you will not be judged. 
For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Let me remove that splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite! Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today pose this question to us. How open are we to change? Do we welcome change? Or do we resist change? And we are not just talking about changes from without, but we are talking especially of changes from within. In our first reading today, we heard the story of the call of Abram. God commanded Abram to leave the land of his kinsfolk, the land where he grew up, the land where he aged, and go to a land that the Lord will point out to him. God is asking Abram to migrate to a different land. Now, for young people, Migration could be a welcome thing. Sa mga bata, yung paglipat-lipat ng mga lugar, kaya pang tanggapin. Excited sila sa mga ganyan. But for older people, to migrate is something that is not easily welcomed. And Abram, was already 75 years old when God asked him to leave the land he knew to go to a new and different land. Abram could have resisted. Abraham could, Abram could have easily objected. Pwedeng pwede niyang sabihin sa Diyos, Panginoon, Dito na ako tumanda. Dito na rin ako mamamatay. Hindi ko na kayang lumipat pa sa ibang lugar. Hindi ko na kayang mag-adjust pa. Sanay na ako dito. Dito na lamang ako. Yun na lang mas bata ang papuntahin mo kung saan mo gustong papuntahin. Huwag na ako. But despite his age, 75 years old, Abram obeyed God and left Haran in order to go to the land that God would give him. Abram welcomed the change because of his faith in God. In our gospel today, Jesus also talks of change change in oneself. Jesus points out one attitude that almost all of us would have, and that is seeing others' faults while being blind to one's own mistakes. Ang nakikita lang ay yung pagkakamali ng iba, Pero hindi nakikita yung sarili niyang pagkakamali at kasalanan. That is why Jesus said at the end of the gospel, Remove the wooden beam first from your eye. Then you will see clearly 
to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. Look at yourself first. Change yourself first in order for you to be credible in changing other people. Gusto nating baguhin ng ibang tao, pero ayaw nating baguhin ang ating sarili. Pinipilit nating mabago ang ating kapwa, pero yung ating sarili ayaw nating baguhin. We resist change. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, God invites us to be open to the many changes that happen around us. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. He was born in the 16th century into a noble family. And he was born into a society that is corrupt, that is brutal, that is so lustful. But seeing the decadence of society, Aloysius Gonzaga, at a very young age, vowed that he will not be part of it. That is why one very important quality of this saint is his innocence. He preserved his innocence. Later, he became a Jesuit and he served the poor and those who are sick. He grew in holiness and in charity. He welcomed the changes that happened to his life because these are according to the will of God for him. He died at a very young age of 23 years old. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be open to change. A philosopher said, the only permanent thing in this life is change. And so let us allow God to change us, to change us so that we may grow in fidelity, in charity, and in holiness. Let us allow God to change us so that we may become better children of the Father. Let us allow God to change us so that we may always be pleasing to God so that we may be like Jesus. Change for the better is important because that is sign, a sign that we are still alive. If we stop changing, then it also means that we stop living. May we always be open to change so that we may grow to be more like Christ, our Lord our brother, and with him, we may be pleasing to God. Please stand. Let us pray for, let us pray to our merciful Father, that we may be generous and charitable in our opinion of others. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our departed, relatives and friends may find peace and eternal joy. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask these through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please 
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Aloysius Gonzaga, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, 
Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life and following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor today, we may persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the prayer of gratitude for the gift of our new Archbishop. Lord Jesus Christ, Good Shepherd and High Priest, we praise and offer you our sincere gratitude for calling Cardinal Jose Advincula to serve as our Archbishop. May he lead us as a loving shepherd who cares for his flock and seeks out the lost sheep. May he be for us a gentle and listening Father, a faithful teacher and a steward of your sacred mysteries. Grant him health, strength, and wisdom. Strengthen the bonds of unity among us, your priests and faithful in our archdiocese, so that we may serve you as one body. Purify us and sustain us in charity, for your love for us never fails. Grant that the faithful of our local church may boldly answer your call to mission. You who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We wish to announce that because of the installation of our new Archbishop on Thursday, June 24, we shall not have the regular 7.30 in the morning and 12.10 in the afternoon Masses on June 24. On June 25, we shall also not have the 7.30 in the morning Mass in view of the Mass of Cardinal Advincula with the Laity, which will happen also here at the Manila Cathedral. After the Mass, we invite you to join us as we pray and bless the tomb of Cardinal Sin. For those joining the live streaming, please just stay tuned and join our prayer at the crypt. And for those here at the Manila Cathedral, you may stay in your places and you may view uh, the prayers at the crypt at our TV monitors. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ready? 
years of faith, grateful today. We give ourselves faithfully yours until the end to your mission, Lord. We give our My dear friends, we gather today to pray for our brother Jaime, whose body lies here in rest. He has passed from death to life in company with the Lord Jesus, who died and rose to new life, and is purified now of his faults. We pray that God may welcome him among all the saints of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let your response be, pray for him. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for him. Saint Michael, pray for him. Saint John the Baptist, pray for him. Saint Joseph, Pray for him. Saint Peter. Pray for him. Saint Paul. Pray for him. Saint Andrew. Pray for him. Saint James. Pray for him. Saint Stephen. Pray for him. Saint Anne. Pray for him. Saint Teresa. Pray for him. Saint Catherine. Pray for him. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for him. Saint Pedro Calumsod. Pray for him. All holy men and women. Pray for him. Your response now will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, pardon all their faults. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, remember the good he has done. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, receive him into eternal life. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, comfort all those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. With Christ, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Let us now pray together as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us also invoke the maternal intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and entrust to her our beloved Cardinal Jaime Sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Jaime, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us in our prayers for cardinal sin. Forever. 
every day that comes for all their pains and joys be there to understand they may seek you my lord and reach into your hands may you comfort their sorrows and heal their wounded hearts